We have the instructions graph the inequality in the coordinate plane and we're given the inequality of x is less than 2. So what we want to recall is when we're working with linear equations or inequalities and we only have an x variable that we're dealing with vertical lines. If you were given the equation x equals 2 we know that's a vertical line at x equals 2. Here we also need to remember that we're dealing with inequalities so it's not going to be just the line but it's going to be solutions that are less than 2. And for instance here we have a x is less than 2 but not equal to 2 so we're not going to have a solid line. When you have a less than sign we're going to use a dashed line. When you have a less than or equal to sign, you would have a solid line because the line itself is included in the solution set. So we come, we start from the origin and we come over positive one, positive two. This is the point two, zero. And at this point, we would have a vertical line and we see that x is less than, not equal to, so we would have a dashed vertical line. Telling us that the line itself is not included in the solution set. Now we just have to figure out which way to shade. Where the solutions fall. Whether these points over here fall in the solution set or whether these points here fall in the solution set. Again, this is telling me that at any y value, x is going to be less than 2. So if I look at y equals 1, at y equals 1, I'm going to have a value that is less than 2. I would have an open circle at 2 and everything less than, less than 2 would be included. The same at y equals 2, I would have an open circle and everything less than 2 would be included. So anything to the left of this dashed line is included. So I would shade all of this. And if I wanted to check my work, Again, I can use zero as the easiest point to, to choose to plug back in, the point zero, zero. When y equals zero, x is also zero, so I would plug in x for zero, which is less than two, which is true, and it checks out.